right so hello guys i wanted to make this video about the galaxy note 10 Lite, as it's a new phone that i bought and before buying it i didn't get much info about it because it's not a very covered phone as it's not the most premium or the most low budget therefore people don't cover it as that budget phone and don't cover it as the flagship hype it's that high end between the budget and the flagship and i think it's the best to can to like get into as of 2020 as the budget phones are getting so good and the flagship phones are getting so ridiculously priced that it's really hard to justify buying one right now really i came from a galaxy s8 and the only downgrade i can see from a flagship level to this level is the lack of wireless charging which may not even matter to most of you it didn't really matter to me that much i like plugging my phone into the wire and plugging my galaxy buds on the uh, wireless charger i have so uh the couple of points that i wanted to talk about that i didn't see many people talk about from an average consumer's point of view are the battery life the s pen usability and the cameras because there are things and the speed by the way because there are things that matter to the average consumer so for the battery life this phone packs a big amount of juice i started the day on 100 percent. it's been five hours it's 11 47 yeah i've been awake from early i go uni and in them five hours it went down to 50 percent in the in those five hours i've been recording a couple of these because I've been failing quite a lot. <laughs> I recorded a couple of videos while at uni to capture some of the lectures. I took some pictures, I watched some YouTube, and I browsed through my Twitter and my Instagram to check. Because, you know, I run this page. It's a very small page for now. If you like it, you can go check it out. It's new age 202 I know my face cam is covering it. It's new underscore age. Or two, I do some nice digital designs and you can download it all for free in the link. You just create it like uh, this is Edge, I think many of you know it. Uh, so let's start by covering this phone. So, first of all, well, I paid for it, I paid uh, around 8,000 Egyptian pounds, which equals to around $300. No, not $300, $400, and that's a lot less than the $600 it came out at, and I think still this would be worth it at $600. So, just as I covered the battery life and told you that it's exceptional and on flagship level, let's talk about the S Pen, which many people are concerned are on the same flagship level. The S Pen has all the features the Galaxy Note 20 has. Uh, it comes out in the same way, it operates with the same OS, other than the air gesture feature, it's a bit limited. So for example, let's say I'm in the gallery, I open this image of a Cessoscope, I cannot gesture it to move, but what I can do is I can click it to go into the next image, and I can double click it to go into the previous image. So it's not really that limited, it's just a showy technique, you know, it's just not as showy, because, you know, it's not a flagship, it doesn't have many things. Uh, other than that, for the speed, it's a very fast phone. Like, for example, I could open many apps. Let's say, where is my YouTube? This is the YouTube studio. It opens in quite quickly. I go out. I go on to my Twitter. Just like that. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. It was already open. I go on to my Facebook, which not many people open. It's already open. I go on to my... Uh, Apple Music, which I know on a Samsung phone, already open. It's just very quick and it has a lot of RAM. This phone comes with either 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the 8 gigabyte version, which I advise everyone to get. 8 gigabytes is going to like foolproof you for quite a couple of years to come because I don't think phones are going to get that much more gigabytes uh, in the coming 5 or 6 years, maybe. Uh, yeah, and that's about that. Uh, if you need further evidence about the power, I'm screen recording all of this while recording my face as well, all with the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Nothing else is coming into play here. And it's still able to run everything with literally no hiccups and very quickly. Uh, now, if you want to look at the cameras, 
Okay. The selfie camera turned off because obviously I'm looking at the back camera. Uh, we have our normal cams, our wide angle cam, and our zooming cam. They're all very good quality cams, and the addition of night mode means that you can take really good images um, in the night. The processing level is quite amazing, honestly. You, you should look up some videos about it. I don't think I have the best evidence for it, but I've tried it quite a lot, and the amount of light it's able to produce is quite amazing. You can also see the uh, quality of the selfie cam from my recording right now. I'd say it's pretty amazing. And the argument that iPhones are fast and have good cameras, therefore I can't buy an Android, does not stand in 2020. It has not stand for many years, but I just wanted to add that. And yeah, that's about it. So if the if anyone is watching this and is in the position I was in, I highly advise that you get this phone. It's a really good phone. The S20 Lite is, sorry, the S10 Lite is also a good phone, but I think it's a bit more expensive and it doesn't have the productivity of the S Pen. This phone is a 6.7 inch S Pen monster. It can handle everything. And the only advantage you get with the S10 Lite is I believe that phone has faster charging, no, not faster charging. I believe that phone has a um, Snapdragon chip instead of the Exynos chip that ships with this Galaxy Note Lite. And from personal experience, the Exynos on my S8 did actually cause me problems, but this Note Lite hasn't, and I've had this phone for a couple of months now. And uh, the problems with the S8 showed quite early. It was only overheating problems. The S8 was quite fast still. But yeah, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a like. Or actually, don't even give it a like. I just wanted to help people that are in my position. I don't even want this to be shared. Uh, but if you do want to help me, checking out my page would be very nice and fun of you. Fun of you, yeah, makes sense. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hope you this helped you in any way. And